So yeah, this is why I wasn't at VidCon. If you just wanted to know why, you can click away. If you need further explanation, keep watching. This past July was the wedding of my brother Danny and his girlfriend Laura. And the wedding just happened to happen the same day as VidCon. So we can this travel vlog not in my room? What the- So we just left home, we're on our way to Glendale. So yeah, my brother's wedding's up in Eagle Rock and we're staying at a hotel in Glendale. Not because it's easy, because, well, that's just how bad traffic has gotten in L.A. But before we go, we gotta drop off someone. Our new little dog, Axel. And no, you're not seeing things. That really is a diaper. And there's my mom. Ow. Ow. I'm blocking her rear view mirror. So what was that like there? It's it's um, a warehouse inside, mm -hmm. and they're all the there's like gates inside, uh, like fences, mm -hmm. and they have all the dogs set up in sizes. Mm -hmm. And right in front they have a big old window mm -hmm. with uh, a big glass partition that you can see all the little puppies, and they are so cute. I would have loved to drop her off at the pet hotel with Axel, but um. One problem. I fell behind on her vaccines. Thankfully, I was able to drop her off with a family member who wasn't going to the wedding. And once I picked her up, I discovered that she had a bad case of fleas. Uh, seriously, uh, Aunt Eva, if you're watching this, I think your dogs might have fleas. You might want to get them checked. What do you find to the camera? What do you find to the camera? <laughs> Why am I playing this theme song to Community? Simple. Uh, since we're staying in Glendale, that's where Glendale City College is. That's where Dan Harmon, the show's creator, attended college. And once it came time to create the show, he turned Glendale into Greendale. As in Greendale Community College. Little bit of trivia for ya. Okay, we finally here after what felt like an eternity. Oh boy, copyrighted music. Oh boy, post production's gonna be hell for this. You, I should probably explain this for non-YouTubers. YouTube's copyright system is mega broken. And to be fair, YouTube has been making progress in curbing copyright abuse. Many music companies, most notably Universal Music Group, has been known to copyright strike YouTube creators, steal their ad revenue, even if it, the clip they use falls under fair use. And if Universal Music Group happens to be wanting, Content ID this. Okay, back to the vlog. Oh my god. Okay, so after a bit of drama, we're all nice and settled in. Okay, so we have a rehearsal dinner I have to go to. But first, Little Smash Brothers. So after some epic ponage, we went to a park in Pasadena where the rehearsal was held. All right, despite arriving late, the rehearsal dinner went excellent. And we're going off to the Congregation Ale House nearby for an actual dinner. Let me, uh, let's see the lady of the hour. Uh, not you, Laura. Thanks, sir. Pretty dress, Okay. Whoa. Yes. Rocking while walking, kids. Practice. Extra caution. Okay, we're off to the restaurant. Cinematic back. You're still an animated movie. I know this is a nail house, but I gotta go easy on the drinking. Wanna wake up bright and early tomorrow morning. 
So yeah, the ale house had some pretty good beer and some good food too. All right, so the next day, it's the day of the wedding and I'm having breakfast in the hotel lobby and guess who joined me? Coffee and waffles, please. With my hair cut, I gotta go get some snacks. Unfortunately, they're all in the bride's room. Hello. Oh, my God, this place is pumping up here. Our place is so lame and slow. I have a card for Laura Uh, I'm Laura too. Uh, I'm one of the non-binary folks. Can I please have a... <laughs> Oh, and uh, if the Tumblr types are watching this and you're getting your knickers in a twist, all I have to say is... For legal reasons, that's a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Do the guys want salad also? Uh, we're guys, so no. We get it on a Mission accomplished. And once I got back, it looks like I complained too soon. The room was finally becoming alive with witty banter and vulgar humor. We also had our own barber. Top that, ladies. Contest one, two, three, go. Go, fight. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You're shitty. You're shitty. Then it was time to get dressed. Ladies, don't run with me because I am looking sharp. Oh, and um, I wasn't the only one who looked nice and sharp in a suit. So we're on our way to another park in Pasadena to get our uh, pictures taken. So we're on our way to the park. I'm in my friend's Rob's car. Oh boy, it's the next couple of hours going to be hell because Okay, we are in the valley in the middle of summer. It's like 90 degrees outside. And on top of that, my pants, while not super uncomfortable, are really prone to ripping. I gotta make so many slow calculated steps in my head just to make sure they don't rip. And uh, between you and me, it already happened. We're gonna be taking pictures in this wretched heat. I'm getting a massive heat stroke because of you, Laura. Remember that. Oh, did, did I mention? This is a Star Wars themed wedding. Some of you watching this might be rolling your eyes, but hey, it can be worse. Much, much worse. I guess this is to go with the romantic mood. Of course, with a proper color grin, you could look something out of a horror scene. So here we are at the Eagle Rock Center of the Arts. An old, big, and beautiful building that is just perfect for the wedding. And yes, the Star Wars theme also continues inside. Ah, uh, open bar. There ain't no way I'm dancing the Macarena sober. Fireball shot? So my uh, bill shot. Mom, do you want to plan that thing for me, please? Here, just use it. Oh! I gotta get something. Okay. While we were waiting in the basement of the art center, the thing that I feared that would go wrong did go wrong. The rip in my pants got bigger and bigger every time I sat down. And I was freaking out because I did not want people to see my underwear when I walked. Now in the end, nobody noticed it. At least when I was standing up, nobody did. So I guess it could have been worse. As for the actual wedding part of the wedding, since I was with a groomsman, I couldn't vlog, and I don't really trust anyone else with a camera. But through the magic of keyframe animation, let me show you how things went down. Me and the other groomsmen, as well as the bridesmaids, walked down the aisle first. Then Darth Vader and some stormtroopers, followed by a minister cosplaying as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then came my mom and my brother, and his girlfriend and the girlfriend's dad. Afterwards, the minister then gave his spiel about love and marriage, while also sprinkling in some Star Wars references. Once that was done, the ring bearer, cosplaying as Han Solo, rolled up to the bride and groom in a little go-kart designed to look like the land speeder from A New Hope. 
After they were handed the rings, they then said I do to each other. The crowd cheered, and that part of the wedding was over. And once it was finally over, I made a mad dash to the bathroom so I can change my ripped pants. Alright, all the fancy stuff's over, and I got into a new pair of pants. Thankfully, as far as I know, nobody noticed, so... No, I literally am sweaty. I am literally wiping the sweat from my brow. Let's make the reception tolerable! After getting buzzed, I then sat down with my family. Eagle Eye viewers might recognize this guy. This is my Uncle Eddie, who started my hot chocolate episode. I'm sorry, but this is the part of the wedding that really drove me up the walls. Weddings are supposed to celebrate love and all this ooey gooey feel goodery. Why the hell are you playing tainted love? And if you're still not getting it, let me read you some of the lyrics. Don't touch me, please. I cannot stand the way you tease. I love you, though you hurt me so. Now I'm going to pack my things and go. If that does not say a happily wedded couple, I don't know what does. Then came the part of the wedding where the bride dances with her father, the groom dances with his mother, and grandmother. Uh, did you do this at your wedding? Are we the only people who did that? But what really made me happy was the food. Succulent pulled pork and mac and cheese. I'm so doing this for my wedding. Then came the part where everyone gave their speeches to the couple. Now I wanted to go up and give a speech, but I guess I forgot to tell my brother. But let's rectify this. I'm going to deliver the speech that I was supposed to give at the wedding. Laura, on behalf of everyone here today, welcome to the family. Because if there's anything this magical night represents, it's family. I sacrificed going to VidCon because it might only happen once a year, but this only happens once in a lifetime. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have given Logan Paul a taste of his own medicine, but my murder revenge fantasy will gonna have to wait. Uh, by the way, does anyone know a good lawyer asking for a friend? Well, at first I didn't get your relationship. It soon became clear that you were meant for each other. You have a deep love of Star Wars, you like to travel to new exotic places, and you spammed everybody's social media feed with political posts to show that you're politically active or woke. A message from my brother. If you can survive raising my confused ass, you can survive marriage. Cheers to the newly wedded couple. Okay, I'm gonna turn back on the AC, I'm sweltering. And of course, wouldn't be a wedding without middle-aged weirdos dancing. I would've gone out and joined them, but what with the pants ripping, I think my dignity suffered enough. Plus that place was pretty hot, I mean, there was no air conditioning apart from the basement. So with the wedding in the rearview mirror, I promise I'll show up to VidCon 2020. And I'll be back with a vengeance. And uh, don't worry, I'll come back next week with a recipe video.